statistics for business. In this video series, in this new video series, we're going to cover this book, Statistics for Business, Decision Making and Analysis by Robert Stein and Dean Foster. This book is for engineers, for managers, for leaders who deal with lots of data and they want to make sense of that data. So it's very important for us to understand how to analyze data to answer the questions you have. Let's take a few examples. Let's say you're trying to find out, you're an engineering manager, and let's say you're trying to find out, hey, is your team productive? Are they productive? Are they you know, checking in enough code? Are they reviewing enough code? And how is this employee doing versus the other employee for a given metric of code throughput? That's one example. How would you go about answering this question? Well, you have lots of data. And so that's where statistics comes in. Another example, let's say uh, you're trying to find out uh, for your given stock portfolio, whether I should hold Microsoft or whether I should hold Amazon uh, versus the total stock market index fund, which one should I hold? And which combination should I hold? Where is there a higher probability of me making more money and lower volatility. Again, data comes in. Then there's another example of, uh, let's say you're launching a new product and you're trying to find out uh, what price point should I sell this product. Then again, you need data to find out how is my product, what kind of features it has versus the competition. And so finding out what price point to use for a given product, whether your team is productive or not, whether you want to have data in your portfolio that says, hey, this stock goes well with this portfolio and this doesn't, right? Are they correlated, meaning all of these stocks go up together or they go down together? So you want to have a healthy mix. At the same time, let's say you want to answer even difficult questions, like how many friends, let's say for Facebook, is too much? Or how many friends is too little? And at what point does it make uh, very difficult for for let's say a, a, a participant in a social network to be um, healthy, to feel healthy. Right? So there are difficult questions. You can, you can start thinking of how do you use data to tell you what is the right answer. And so for each of these, you need a framework of answering these questions. And so this book goes into that. This book un gives us from the very basics, it gives us from the very basics a deep understanding of what is data, how to analyze data, how to infer from it, and how do we build models that can predict into the future, right? This book is very important for engineers who are trying to understand their data, who don't have any understanding of how to use their data that they have, um, for managers especially and leaders who are trying to make sense and answer questions that they have, the business questions that they have with the help of data. So, the very first step is you need to ask the right question to get the right answer. So this book also tells us um, how, with various examples, how do we go about asking the right questions? How do we go about getting the right data? How do we go about cleaning the right data? And there's lots of process for it. And when we do that, our decisions, our decision-making ability is much more uh, convincing because it's grounded in facts, it's grounded in data, it has history at least factored in. You cannot predict the future, but it gives you a probability, which is with a higher conviction you can use the data. So decision making and analysis is, is the key theme of this book. How do you make good decisions based on data, based on facts? How do you not make the same mistakes of the past? at least in the future. There could be new things in the future and that's what we'll also try to see if this book helps us predict into the future. And so there is a very good framework to use when you're trying to deal with uh, answering data-related questions. And it's called the four M's. The four M's. The first one is motivation. Second one is the method. Third one is the mechanics. And fourth one is the message. So if you break down a given data analysis or a given data decision into these four structures, then you are now having a structure of how to go about answering those difficult questions. The first one is you need to deeply understand the motivation. What is the business problem that you're trying to solve for with the data? If you don't really understand your question, you're not gonna get the right answer. So deeply understand and narrow down to as fewer as crisper definition as possible 
of what is the motivation behind this data analysis, right? Why are you trying to answer this? What's important? Who, who cares? Who gives a damn about this answer that you're trying to get? So there should be a strong motivation. So writing down a clear motivation as to, hey, I'm trying to find out whether the my team uh, is productive when it comes to review board or review throughput or um, writing code or lines of code or whatever that is. So you need to understand productivity, code, throughput, like this is, they need to be very clear understanding of what problem you're trying to solve. Once you know the motivation, then you can define the method. The method is basically, okay, for that problem space, where are you gonna go look for the data? So this is data. What method is all about data. And what are the variables that you're gonna use? There are different types of variables and in the upcoming chapters, we learn about importance of clean data, importance of understanding what variables are and how do we use those data variables so that we can make the right decision. The third is the mechanics. Once you know what problem and then you know where you're gonna look at the data, then you're gonna apply algorithms and tools on that data. That is the mechanics as to how are you gonna use that data? What are you doing? What kind of uh, probability functions or statistic functions are you using? So you need to have a clear understanding of the mechanics. Motivation, method, mechanics. And once you've done the analysis, then you need to clearly communicate what the message is to the first business problem. So this should be a meaningful answer to the problem. So once you follow this structure, then you will have a very guided way of attacking this problem and breaking it down into four key things. What is your motivation? What are you trying to answer? What is the method? Where is this data? What, what data are you using? What's the mechanics? What algorithms are you using on that data? And finally, how have you concluded? Are you, are you, are you um, uh, concluding it well? Are you overestimating? Did you not call out all the caveats? So there's meaningful ways to answer using the statistics, the algorithms, the data for the business problem you have. So four M's is the key theme of this intro video. So we will get into and use four M's in all real life. I've given you various examples in the beginning uh, and we're gonna use the four M method in the entire book um, to understand how to break down any specific difficult problem and solve it. And there are four parts. The first six chapters is variation um, where we understand like how, what's the characteristics of the data, how it varies, what are the variables and whole host of things. Probability as to how do we, once you have the data, how do you, how do you plot it? How do you make sure that you use the right plots? How do you use the right graphs? And how do you uh, get to the next step of inference, right? With the probability distribution. So the third, third part is inference, the next six chapters. And the remaining eight chapters are regressions and models in which we'll have a lot of big data that's gonna be used as well. So this is, the textbook is again, Robert Stein and Dean Foster. We're gonna use Excel heavily. So I'm super interested in learning all the Excel uh, analytics function, which I didn't knew existed before I started learning some of these chapters and started doing this videos. So super excited. We're gonna to learn together in this journey how to uh, up-level our skills, to understand statistics so that we can actually use the right data, use the right functions, and then answer those difficult business problems with high degree of conviction so that uh, the answers that we come up with are actually true. Uh, they're actually true.